What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to be talking about a company, Tesserie.com. They were kind enough to send us over a really cool accessory for my Model 3. But before I get into that, if you head on over to their website, you are going to realize that they are a treasure trove of Tesla accessories. From the Model 3, the S, the X, the Y, and the new Highland, they have anything you could possibly think of to upgrade your Tesla. Also, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and all of the comments and my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I am so glad that I could help you all make your Tesla better. Now to see what we got. We have a ultra mini screen display here, which is pretty sick for the Model 3 and the Model Y. It is 4.6 inches. The screen resolution is 960 by 320. It says the installation time is going to only going to be 20 minutes. Um, it is applicable for the 19 to 23 Model 3 and Model Y. Mine is a 22. IPS True Color Display, visual access to driving information. It supports Intel and AMD. I have the AMD Ryzen on mine. And expanding interface USB-TC supports upgrading software, which is pretty cool. Let's open this up. So this is going to be the display screen. Various, let's see, it says new power cord and then another one, old power cord. So I think this is for the older versions of the Model 3 and the newer versions with the Ryzen. Um, we're going to find out. And surprisingly, no instructions. Well, okay, so I guess we are going to figure this out trial by error. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to head to their website, see how to install it, and I'll check back with you guys in a second. Okay, so first things first, you got to remove these trim pieces. Now we're gonna scoot out our steering wheel as much as possible. And we do the same for the passenger side, which will be one, two, three, four plastic clips. So we got the screen here and our wires. Honestly, I don't know what this green wire connects to because it's there's not a plug on the screen or to the car. So maybe it's just an extra wire, but we're gonna plug this up and see. This wire right here, the white goes into this there. And then I have an extra one for you if you need it. So I guess I just have to figure out how to place this to store it. I don't know. So much stuff. That looks good to me. I have to undo my center console. That's gonna be interesting. Because I have my LED lights in there. Oh well. So apparently this just pops right off. I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, fuck. Woo, this is terrifying. Guess that's the passenger side. Let's do the driver's side. Yeah, let's go crazy, these people online. They just be popping these things off like it's nothing. 
Not a care in the world. Look at that. So now that I've got this undone on my ambient lighting, I gotta re put that in as well. Um, there's two connecting cables under there that I have to undo, so let's get that done. Okay, so I have to unconnect this wire right here, take these, and reconnect them. This wire splitter. So this one's gonna go here. So now that that's connected, I can plug this up if it'll work. Cause ain't no way I'm doing the rest of this installation. If this doesn't work. Look at that. Wow. So this is gonna show you every door that's open, how far I've got it for when I'm on my autopilot, how much range I have, I'm in park, the temperature. I wonder if I could change these settings. My battery level's right here, the time. Yeah, I don't know how to change the settings on here to make them accurate. Maybe this USB port, but overall it looks pretty dope. Just gotta figure out how to change the time and stuff on it. There's no buttons under here. So if I go park, I'm in drive, neutral, reverse, park again. All right, let's uh, finish this up. Y'all, I have to say, this is not easy because the instructions, non-existent, the video they have online, ass. They skip a whole step about how to wire, route some of the wires through here. So today we are taking apart this shit and finding out, which is aggravating at the moment. Cause this won't come off and I need this piece to come off. I'm gonna contort my body every which way. Yeah, this is a different design because these pieces here are hooked on. So, the instruction video they gave me is a no-go. But I need, need to get out of here. Fudge. Get mad. So I'm basically trying to pry this open right now. So I think, ah, uh, look at that, you little B word. There we are. About friggin' time. So that's supposed to be a direct replacement. You know, someone said I should take off this dashboard trim. And honestly, at this point, I'm thinking I might do it. Oh, uh oh. I think y'all created an animal. Yep, you created an animal today. Uh, if anybody out there wants to hook me up with a real carbon fiber dashboard replacement instead of this trim piece, I'm well, glad to make a video of it. <laughs> okay. So. The question is, how do we route these wires to the steering wheel? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. That you have to route this wire through here on a 2022 Model 3. And honestly, right now it's looking impossible. See, right now I cannot tell y'all which way to go because I can't see anything. Frustrating me. Yes. Oh my god, okay, so down here there's a little hole right here, right in this area, that you can fit this wire through to thread it on this side here. 
And from here, excuse me, from here, I have to find a way to get it up there. Oh. You know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do. It's time to go fishing. Where you at? I hear you. Plugged up. The power is not on yet because I have not plugged that one in. Splitter wires. This is going to plug into this one. And this bad boy is going to plug into the bottom of here. And there we go. Screen is on. Now I just got to figure out how to put this bad boy back on. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I wanted to get this back in there nice and tight. Put this back on. Mm. Pop goes the frickin' weasel. Love that sound. I love that sound. Let me put my dashboard back on. Everything's aligned. This wire here. I need to contact them and unit of measurements is off and well I mean it's not off but it's just not Okay, so I sent Tezri an email on how to adjust my settings on the screen to put it to miles per hour, the time, the Fahrenheit. So they said I have to press the scroll wheel on the right to the right for three seconds. So we're gonna hold it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Oh, hell yeah. So temperature, we're gonna go Fahrenheit, theme auto, tire pressure, PSI. Don't know what can is. Mileage, miles per hour. So there we go. I still have to fix the time, but we're in miles per hour and we're in Fahrenheit, which is awesome. Let's see if we can change what the user interface looks like. Theme, let's go bright, dark, auto. Okay, so that's day mode or night mode. Um, UI one is the white one let's see what UI2 is okay that places everything else in a different order let's see what we got here UI2 
I one. Okay, so it's either one or two. I like two. And then time, right now it says it's 5 a.m. Of 10 p.m. There we go. Boom. All right, y'all. What a doozy of an install. Level of install. If you've done a ton of these, it will get easier. But right off the bat, I'd say this is probably about like a 7 out of 10. Basically due to just trying to figure out how to route the wires on... I mean, I have a 2022 Model 3. I don't know if the instructional video they had was different or if you can remove those panels before. But if you have a 2022 Model 3, you're going to have to route those wires in a very interesting way. So be ready for that. As far as the screen goes, I've driven around with it for a few days. It's pretty cool. You know, it's not like super game changer-ish. But it's a cool little extra screen to have if you don't want to continue to look over to your main screen. You can have your speed and stuff in your range here in front of you, which is kind of cool. So I like it. I'm not mad at it. But again, I'm not, you know, this isn't changing the entire interior of my car in a drastic way. So it's cool. It's subtle. Yeah. So if you guys are interested, of course, there's a code for you. Thank you for liking and subscribing and following along my journey. And if you guys have any ideas of what else you'd like to see me install in my car, let me know. Until then, be blessed. Take care and have a great day.